Hey everyone, welcome once again to our 21 days of prayer and fasting daily devotion. This is day eight of our 21 day consecration and today's devotion is entitled called and chosen. Now we are a church on a mission and our mission is based on God's purpose for our life and not only his purpose for all of us, but his plan for you. And as you're fasting today and seeking God, he is speaking to you concerning this scripture, Matthew 22 and 14, for many are called, but few are chosen. What does that mean? He's calling you. He's speaking back to you while you're praying and he's calling you for a specific purpose. Now, we all have been called unto salvation because God is not willing that none perish, but all come to repentance. But also it takes us to answer the call in order for us to realize we are also chosen. And it's only those who answer the call are those who are chosen. What does that mean? He is not just calling you, but he is choosing you for something very specific for the kingdom. He is giving you the fruit of the spirit. He's giving you the gifts of the spirit. He's giving you courage and tenacity and strength to accomplish what he has called you to do and what he has chosen you to do. Many people have been chosen to be evangelists or chosen to be preachers or teachers, pastors. Um, some have been given the gifts of the spirit for gift, for encouragement, for helps, supernatural faith. Whatever it is, God wants you to use those gifts. He wants you to use what he is giving you in order for you to make an impact in this world. You have to accept the call. You have to be the chosen. He wants you to be set apart as a vessel unto honor, but you have to accept. So as you're praying and as you're seeking God, I want you to open your ears up to the master and listen to what he has to say concerning your life on this earth. He wants you to be a part of the church, active on the mission to win souls for Christ. There are people out there who are hungry, who are uh, in sickness, who are in hospitals, those who need visitation. There are those who need to be clothed, those who need to be prayed for, those who need to be ministered to and who need to hear the good news of Jesus Christ. He's calling you for that. Will you answer the call? Will you be the chosen set apart for his use? God bless you. Don't forget our prayer meetings every Sunday at 6 p.m. and 5 a.m. and 7 p.m. on Wednesdays. Also, our Words for Life Bible study and our morning worship service. Come on out, be a part of what God is doing during these 21 days and how he's preparing us for 2024. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe.